Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shit Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the brand new The Good Life collection from Close to My Heart. I think this is such a beautiful collection. I hesitated to purchase it in the beginning, but I'm so glad that I did now. Um, the colors, I just love the color scheme of this collection. So I am going to be using this background paper. I absolutely love how there's kind of like some mixed media, some patterns, um, some images on it already for me. I don't have to do much to it. Um, so love that. I am bummed, however, that the back side is the wood grain because I love that wood grain as well. So I used the wood grain on a previous layout and then I'm using this side for this one. Um, I am also going to be using the design elements stamp set that is new as well um that i absolutely am loving so what i decided to do i decided to spruce up this kind of background i guess a little bit um and just added a bunch of strips of paper different widths uh different patterns kind of just mixed them up and that's gonna kind of go behind my photo here and i decided that i needed more i wanted them to be wider than my photo and so i ended up cutting another strip there and i'm just going to kind of angle them i trim some down so they're not all the same length either uh and i really could have uh cut them into chunks <laughs> Um, the ones that are going behind my photo to kind of save some of the paper for a future layout. Um, but I didn't. Um, but that would be an option if you, you know, really like the paper. Um, so you don't have to waste so much of it. Um, I then wanted a horizontal paper. And so you can see I'm trying to figure out uh what paper to use i wanted to use these scraps of the wood grain from the back side however i realized that there is like wood grain almost imprinted on the background paper um i even tried to use my harbor ink to ink it up so it popped a little bit more and still just didn't love it um i obviously am not going to throw that away i will definitely use that in a different layout uh, but really had to kind of figure out now what to do kind of for a horizontal um, a horizontal piece. Now looking at it, there is that border strip on the sticker sheet that I could have used. That would have been a, a good option. It's just a another pattern. I knew exactly what sticker I wanted to use for my title as well, this heart and home. Um, this is my mother-in-law with her three grandsons, and I just thought it was absolutely appropriate for that. And then just kind of layering some of the pieces um, from the sticker sheet behind it. I did kind of get stuck with embellishing this layout. I did not initially purchase the embellishments for this collection and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't. Um, I have since purchased them. I just don't have them yet. So just waiting for those to come because it's a perfect wood grain um, embellishment pack. So instead I ended up using the design elements stamp set and love how there's this kind of like wood almost like a wood fence um stamp here i don't have the color toffee i believe that is the color in this collection so i ended up using brushed corduroy and then oh now i can't think of this color i i just wasn't sure if the um brush corduroy was the right color if it would go so i ended up stamping with this darker color as well because i think there is the color espresso in the collection um this stamp set does not come with thin cuts however i thought it was i don't know these were just super easy to cut they are straight lines and really easy to cut on the back side you can see how i kind of stamped two at a diagonal because with the brush corduroy two of them didn't really show stamp as crisp as i wanted and so i just made sure that 
to save paper that I stamped on the back side on the ones that weren't as crisp, if that makes sense. So um, I actually am going to end up using both colors. I just wanted even more um, larger pieces, I guess. So initially I am going to end up adding one or I mean two to the bottom left and two to the top right. Um, spoiler alert, I do end up changing it and bringing those down so it looks like that wood grain, those wood pieces go all the way across the page underneath of uh, the photo there. But I love how it just gives a great base for that bottom cluster. I felt like that, I don't even know if it's a I don't think it's a milk jug. I can't really tell what it is, but I felt like it helped that pop a little bit more. So committing to the title, popping that up on some foam tape to give the layout a little bit of dimension. But this is where I kind of struggled. Um, I do end up adding a couple of the phrase stickers that I felt like were perfect down to the bottom. Um, but the pieces left on the sticker sheet, I wanted longer pieces instead of wider pieces and I used up kind of the size I wanted on that bottom left image there. That's what I had envisioned for the top embellishment if that makes sense and there just wasn't anything that I wanted to commit to. So instead I'm going to end up adding these um, tabs I guess to the top as a base for a cluster as well. I did incorporate some of the Cherish embellishments that ended up being that mist color and then the wood grain. I thought it worked really well with this collection. The mist is in this collection. And then the wood grain, um, the actual embellishments for this collection end up, are actually wood grain. So just used what I had out of my stash. I still wish I would have had the actual embellishments for this collection or for this layout specifically, but it is what it is. I did add that fray sticker and a heart to those top tabs. Um, and just really trying to figure out what to use. Um, there's buttons and just that didn't show up good enough on that wood. And so really just trying to figure out how to embellish this layout. This one was a little bit of a struggle. I love the background. Don't feel like it needs a bunch because you know the background's busy and the pattern papers are busy. But I just didn't love how it was. I like it a lot better now that I decided to move these pieces down. Um, I just think it was maybe too distracting at the top. So I did move them down. So it does look like they go all the way through behind the photo. Uh, but that left now a big space at the top right for me to kind of play with, figure out what to place there. And so I ended up going back into my stash to find this wood grain embellishment pack from a different collection found that little tag super tiny at the top but again it's wood grain and match the rest of the embellishment so I'm going to add that and then just add another simple um, mist heart from the cherish embellishment sheet and that is going to finish off this layout I just wanted something else to kind of come round out that top corner of that photo um, and I felt like that was sufficient enough um but i hope you guys enjoyed this layout i will link this collection as well as the stamp set down below um definitely get your hands on it because i think this is going to be a popular collection and might sell out so definitely snatch it up but i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time bye guys